Welcome back to a new episode of Mushroom Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you how you can create this app where you can click on buttons and open those addresses, as you can see here, inside of your app. So I'll click on this one, for example, and it will straight away open maps, launch maps, put a pin on it, and take me to the address once I just click over here. If there's something that you're interested in learning, please stick by and I'll teach you how to do it in very easy steps. Let's get started. Welcome guys, so here I've prepared three different addresses all in Sydney that we're going to use um, But they're not just random, I did, well they are random, but I did use, uh, select these because they're the three different kinds of formatting that you're most likely to find So you've got your house address or like your unit number and then the street and then the area and the postcode And then you've got a level and then the number of the house or the building and then your street and then again the area and here we've just go, we go straight away to the area or to the street and then we've got where we actually are in the postcode. So I'm going to show you how we can use each single one of them and they're exactly the same. I'm just showing that we can do it using the exact same method. And the first thing I'll do is I'll just go over here and I'll create a VStack so we can actually create different, like three different buttons on top of each other. Inside of these we're going to add three different buttons like I just mentioned and the styling here is not really that important. This is just a tutorial to really just show you how you can do it. There we go. And I'm basically inside of here, I'm just going to say something like, um, well, let's see what I actually wrote here. We can have this as Ben Long Point. And I'm going to copy this button and I'm going to paste it three different times or two different times. Over here, let's go ahead and call it level. 5 out of 108 market street and the last one we're also just going to give it a name which will be 15 Broadway so these are the three different addresses that we're going to be using and uh, at this point basically all I want to do is I want to call that action or call that feature that allows me to actually launch maps with those addresses so what I'll do is I will do exactly that um, and I'll create it in a function outside. So I'm just going to go ahead and say func and I'll call it open map. We want to pass in a parameter. So I'm going to say address and then string. And basically each of these buttons is going to be calling that function. And we're going to be passing which address we want. So why did I do it that way? It's just so that you can see how you can actually pass an address to be open in the map because there's a little bit of a trick to it. Before we just start calling the function, what I'll do is I'll actually implement something in the function over here. So what I'm going to do is I'll say UI application dot shared dot open URL just like this. In here I'll say NS URL open and close a bracket. Inside of here I'll say string and equal to and then inside of here this is the URL for our map. So this is what we actually want to enter. So this is going to be HTTP and then two dashes maps dot apple dot com question mark address equal to and then we are here we're just going to be passing that address that parameter over here. So I'll simply say address. And finally, what we are going to do is we're going to force unwrap this and then we're going to say as URL. Now, why are we force unwrapping it? Well, because we know like for a fact that w whenever we call this function, there's going to be an address just because we're going to actually hard code it here. If you're not, if you're not sure if there will be an address or not, like if you're fetching it from an API or something like that, then maybe not force unwrap it, but I'll just do it just because I'm confirmed that for our example here, I know there will be an address. Now let's go ahead here and actually call our function. So I'm going to go ahead and say open map inside of here. We need to pass an address. Now you might go ahead and straight away just input this like that. And this would actually crash because you can't have spaces when you're passing it. So what you need to do is you just need to replace those 
spaces with something. I just replace it with commas and that works. So maps is smart enough to identify what this address actually is and it will still take you to the correct address and we'll see that straight away. And then I'm going to be saying open again, same exact things, open map. This time I'm going to be copying this address. And same thing, I will be removing my commas. Just like that. Finally, just one more time. Open map address and we're going to be using the last one. So let's go ahead and put quotation marks just like this. And then comma 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 and a final one <laughs> comma as well cool so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this on my iPhone just like we do all the time and we're gonna run this app and we're gonna see if it will work or not all right so we've got the app here loaded and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on all three buttons so we're gonna begin with the belonging point or sorry the belong point and as you can see it opens map it launches it it puts a pin on top and I can also click on the one hour and 26 minute drive and it will straight away start taking it to me so it's just native you don't actually do any of this you just call the maps and it knows exactly what to do let's go ahead and try the other addresses so i'm gonna try level 5 108 market street and this is the one that i thought it would be a bit tricky but if i click on it it does take you to the exact address it even tells you what's actually here so it's sydney tower in case you haven't realized there you go and it shows you the exact address as well and finally, if I just go to the last one, which is 15's Broadway, and if I click on it, so this is UTS, my, my university, and it does show you exactly where it is. It shows you UTS is found over here, and it shows you as well where the actual address that I actually pull is, which is the loft UTS as well. So there you go. It's really cool. It, it, it knows exactly what to do. It displays a pin on it, which is great. And it's exactly what you would want to do or what you would want to provide to your user in your app. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this episode and did learn from it and see you in the next episode.